Critics are calling out the state's plan to wait until after the 2024 presidential election to install a software update on voting equipment. But election leaders say it's just not feasible. Fox 5's Kim Luffler is at the live desk for us tonight. So, Kim, what's the reason? Well, they say it all comes down to security. This comes after a judge unsealed two reports on both sides of the issue. One report by University of Michigan, of Michigan professor finds the state's Dominion voting system has critical vulnerabilities. Another by a corporation analyzing the security of elections found the machines secure. We're not really delaying it. I mean, we're doing it in a responsible way. Gabriel Sterling, chief operating officer for the Secretary of State's office, says the decision to delay the voting machine software updates was done with security in mind. The presidential preference primary is March 12th, which means that 49 days before that, we have to get the overseas, the Uwakawa military ballots out the door. So that's in December. When balancing the risks, we will always look to improve security. And that is a very important thing. But we can't take the risk with the system itself going into the 2024 election cycle. And that's why the decision was made. It's the responsible, sober decision to make. On Wednesday, a newly released report by University of Michigan professor J. Alex Halderman says Georgia's system has critical vulnerabilities that put votes at risk. Laying out several possible scenarios, but another by the group MITRE found it's not likely those scenarios would occur. In order for the attacks that are outlined here to actually work, it would take thousands of people going to hundreds of locations, doing actions over a long period of time and no one noticing. In the real world, these things can't happen because we have logic and accuracy testing. We have audits. We have post-election reviews to make sure that the software is the same software it was before. Halderman called MITRE's analysis wrong because it assumes, quote, safe and controlled access, citing an alleged incident in Coffee County in 2021 where a team hired by supporters of former President Donald Trump assessed voting equipment. But Sterling says the systems are secure. The equipment in question in Coffee County has been taken out of service. We're reviewing that. It's Part of the court case. We do processes, procedures, and train on security all the time. We've posted links to both of the full reports on our website, fox5atlanta.com. At the live desk, Kim Luffler, Fox 5 News.